Today I'm melting down beeswax and purifying at the same time. To start with, I've got a dedicated large stainless steel bowl that I use just for beeswax and the same thing for a stainless steel pan. I've got a homemade double broiler here. Turn the heat up to medium high, get the water boiling. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit and wax boils at 175 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't want the wax to boil because it kills the antimicrobial properties. So once my water gets to boiling, I turn down to about medium heat and that allows me to get the max well, wax melted, which melting point is 145 degrees and make sure we stay below the 170 degree range. So I'm gonna refine a pretty large chunk of wax this time around. Dad, can you put the wax in? We did an initial um, meltdown from all our comb, mm -hmm. all of our comb, which was pretty, pretty dirty. It had, you know, a lot of um, legs, brood parts, um, just other than pure beeswax. So initially we cook that down in a dedicated pot with water in it and just crumble that comb honey right in it. Once it's melted, we let it sit for 24 hours and the wax comes to the top, which is what you see here. And on the bottom will be all of the honey and debris and water that's left on the bottom. And then usually a film that you need to scrape off the bottom of the, the wax as well. So this is a pretty large chunk. It's gonna take a while to, to melt. I'll be back with you to show you the process. So I use 90 grade cheesecloth to do my filtering and I use three layers. This is a five yard small bolt and as you unfold it, it will be a yard width. So I cut off about 12 inches, 12 to 14 inches. I went a little shy this time, more towards 12. And then I open it up and cut that in half. And with each half then, I fold the cheesecloth into thirds. And then cut that in half. And that's gonna be enough to filter about one and a half pounds of beeswax. Um, I use cleaned milk cartons. I just clean them real well after they're used and store them with the caps off and cut off the top. And you'll take your cheesecloth and make a little bit of a depression with it. That way it's less likely you'll pour wax over, overflow the wax. And you use a rubber band. Super easy. Um, I've done multiple methods. If I'm doing a large block like this, I'll probably pour off some wax as I go. Um, about a square, four by four square about, is about a pan, pound of beeswax, and that's a real nice size. Here I've got a smaller block that's cooling, and this is gonna be a little bit less than a half pound. And your end result, I just store in butcher's paper or parchment paper. This is a refined block of beeswax using the three layers of 90 grade cheesecloth. I don't put any more than I need to on the top so I have very little waste and I don't boil this to get the wax out. I just toss my cheesecloth when I'm done. Now the wax is ready for making healing balms, lip balm, candles, whatever you choose to make with it. And I get all this ready while my mac wax is melting. Here's my big disc of wax, about 25 minutes into the melting process. It's the, go slow at first, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn this so that the top starts to get soft as well. And it'll probably be at least another 30 minutes before this is all melted. 
gonna go ahead and start pouring some of the wax into my cartons. My son's helping me out here so you can see the action. Okay, I'm going to put this back on. That allowed me to check my water level as well. I still have an inch of water in my pan, so it should be enough to finish this project up. <laughs> 